Also, I don't apologize for my outfit. I never try to look nice in my videos. So I mean, why start now? Hey, it's me! So today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be putting pockets in our ribbon skirt. So previously on my channel, I showed you how to make a ribbon skirt, and this was actually my most successful video so far. So far. Um, last I checked, I had about 10, almost 11,000 views. Um, almost 300 likes. Yes, I'm rounding up because I'm trying to think positive here. So it was a very popular video. This is the ribbon skirt that I made. And I do wear this all the time. I only have two ribbon skirts and I don't really like to wear the other one because the fabric is just so thick and difficult to wear. And I just, this is my baby right here. Um, the only problem with this ribbon skirt is I didn't put any pockets on it. I didn't think to make any pockets in it. I um, just noticed women putting pockets in their ribbon skirt after I'd already filmed and made it. So um, I will say though that I have been getting involved with like a craft group in my community and it's been going on. It's just like a, a craft group like um, on Tuesday nights. Whoever wants to bring their craft there will bring their stuff there and you just hang out and do whatever you're working on, right? But now, um, an organization within the community has been sponsoring these craft nights lately. So they've bought beads, rooms, um, all the supplies that are needed for beads. And recently, they bought supplies for ribbon shirts. So they bought a whole bunch of fabric, a bunch of ribbon, they got sewing machines, like everything that they need so that they can keep whoever wants to come to this craft night how to make a ribbon shirt and provide the supplies as well. So I said that I was, um, I didn't want to make a ribbon shirt because I have so much things that I need to work on right now. I'm trying to get to another one. But I said that, you know, I would still go, I'll work on my things and then provide support for um, keeping the ribbon shirt making as well. I ended up, um, I think there were about like five women that came, and I ended up teaching four of them how to measure out the ribbon skirt. And it was the exact same formula that I chose here for my video. So that was kind of like confirming for me because the formula that I, I chose for my video, I got to see actual like in real life in real time i got to see women who had no idea how to sew they didn't know how um grasp how i measured out a ribbon skirt and it worked for them so that makes me feel good it, it helps me know you know i've been getting lots of comments on the video it still helps me know that it works for people so i'm glad that my formula works um but with that being said, I also insisted that we do pockets at this class. So, um, I haven't gotten there yet. We just kind of got it like measured and cut out. This week we'll be doing the applying the ribbons and the sewing, and I'll be showing you how to make pockets. So, what you will need then is, of course, you know, all the, the sewing stuff, some pins, some scissors, um, measuring tape, I've got like a cutting surface, a drafting ruler, so I'll, I might be using a little bit of these. You will need a pen and some paper. So I have, again, you may have seen this before, I have this big roll of printer-like paper, and this is what I use for drafting patterns. But if you don't have to get something like this, especially if you're only doing the pocket part. You can use anything. You could use, you know, like a, a brown shopping bag. You can use um, a piece of paper from a notebook. That's what I used at the class, actually, because I had forgotten to bring along something. Um, 
somebody had this uh, college jewel notebook with them. So I literally cut a pattern piece for a pocket out of that. Um, and then another thing you'll need is fabric for the pocket. So I keep my fabric. I actually, I mean, for real, like this, the moon right here is made out of fabric that's literally 15 years old. <laughs> so I keep all my fabric, but if, let's say you bought the ribbon skirt from somebody else and you don't have the additional fabric, or you don't keep your fabric, or you know you use it all up or whatever, you don't have to have exactly matching fabric. You can just, you know, in my case, I would just get like a black cotton fabric, or you know, any color that you want. It could match the ribbon skirt to blend in, or if you wanted to be varying, you know, get a different color. Our goal is to not have the inside of the pocket visible. Our goal is to not have this visible, but it's possible that it could become a little visible or like if, if you do successfully sew it on so that it's hidden, then um, as you're putting things in your pocket, you know, it could be visible. I'm going way off here. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is toss our ribbon skirt aside. We don't need it yet. We don't need fabric. What we're going to do is draft out a pattern piece with some paper. So this is actually really, really simple. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't you know, have to worry about like, being artistic or whatever, or being good at drawing things out. It really just has to have like a standard shape or anything similar to it. So let's do it. Okay, so I have paper lined out. Um, now, one thing that I like to do for drafting out like the size of the pocket piece, because you want to make sure that it's big enough that you can actually fit, fit in it, is um, you take a phone and you use the phone to that's how big it is now. I actually record on my phone, so I just have my phone case here. So, um, we'll take the phone case. I'm going to use this edge of the paper because it's straight. And what you'll do is just um, draw a line about an inch wide. And just about an inch. Okay, so I drew a line about an inch wide. Now, when you draw the pocket piece, I'm just going to kind of use this area right here for um, my doodling. But this is the general shape that you're going to make your pocket piece. Whoops, So you'll have two lines about a half inch on either side. And then you'll have it kind of droop down and then go straight. And this is because, um, like this will be at the top of your pocket, and then this will be at the bottom. So this will be so that your pocket is actually like facing downward of your dress. And you can actually put things in it. You wouldn't want it to be like that because then it's not going to hold anything. <laughs> Place your phone right there, and then this part's kind of subjective again, like I said. You don't have to worry about like having artistic talent or being able to draw things out well. You kind of have to trust yourself to make an accurate like little loop. So, I'm going to go ahead and draw that out, and I'm drawing it around my phone so I can make sure it's big enough. Okay, and then drawing a little tab here. So I'm actually going to correct this right here so that, so that it forms a tab on this side, um, similar to this side. And these tabs are so it just kind of like blends the pocket into your skirt seam. Um, keep in mind that you need about um, 
a half inch or so around the edge of the pocket for the seam, right? And then this is where like, the edge of the pocket will be. Or actually more like right here. We'll get into that. You'll understand what this tab is all about when it's time to sew the pocket into the skirt. So yeah, I am going to cut this out. You only need one pattern piece. And then we will cut four pieces of fabric out with this one pattern piece. All right. Okay, so I have four pattern pieces for the pocket. Um, I could have mentioned, but I didn't, that when I cut them out, I actually had like the fabric folded in half so that I was cutting two pieces at a time. So I only had to take the pattern and lay it on the fabric twice in order to get four pieces because of that. So um, what we're going to do then is if you have like a solid print, like that's all right, but I have a pattern print here. And so if you do as well, you're actually going to take that and um, make it so that the pattern is on the inside. So basically right sides together. I can't get this together. Yeah, right sides together and wrong sides out. So when it lays inside of your skirt, um, these will be visible. And then if you were to reach inside of your pocket, then the pattern piece is like in the pocket. So that's how we're going to have them lay. For now, what our next step is, is finding a spot on the skirt where you want to place your pocket and then ripping that seam open. If you have not made your skirt yet and you're just wanting to add pockets into it, then this would, the part where you would insert your pocket would be before you make this seam on the side. So I would say that it's good. I would say about five inches down from the waist is what I'm going to do for my pocket. So we'll go there. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to turn the skirt inside out. And then find your spot that you want to start the pocket in my case. And maybe even in yours, whatever. I'm going to start five inches from the top of the waist. And then, if you don't have this, it's okay. Um, you could use like a needle to pry the thread open, or you can just very carefully use your shears to snip them. Um, but here I have a seam ripper. These are pretty cheap if you don't have one or you want one though. And yeah, pretty old. So I'm going to take the seam ripper. I lost my spot already. Let me find it again. Alright, so there's five inches. Now, here's the thing. I use a serger on my skirt, which means that I serve the, um, the seam allowances on the inside of my skirt just to protect the fabric. The actual seam is that black thread underneath it. Can you, can you see that? Is there the black thread? So I'm actually going to have to seam rip both the third thread and the actual seam. So let's get into it. Oh, and before, actually, for that, 
um, you actually want to figure out how long of a thing you want to rip open. So you can either just take your pocket piece and hold it up to your skirt and then be like, okay, well, I'm going to rip down to here. Or um, you can take your pocket piece and measure it on your ruler and be like, well, I am going to cut something that's nine inches long. Um, in my case, I'm just going to take the piece and hold it up. I would suggest not cutting, like, to the very edge of the pattern piece. I would suggest cutting it, like, leaving a little bit. Um, this flap, not accounting for this flap, I mean. So, just to be more clear, this is where I'm going to start cutting right here. So the pocket piece will hang over the cut fabric of the Alright, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, I'm back. So I jumped ahead a little and I did one pocket just so I can make sure that um, you know everything kind of falls in line before I take the time to verbally instruct you. So, so this is the side with the pocket. Right here. This is my left side. Yeah. All right, so um, here are the seams. So basically what you did is, basically what I did, is I seamed ripped a hole into the seam, right? This is the original seam on this side, and then up here. And then we just kind of like attach two pieces of fabric inside of the seam, like on either side of it, I mean. And then we sewed those two pieces of fabric together around here, and that forms a pocket. So, first thing that you need to do then is find the hole in your, um, in your pocket. Actually, we're starting inside out, by the way. So, this is what the pocket looks inside out. So while your skirt is inside out, you'll find that hole. And you'll get your pocket ready. So we have the, the right side facing each other. And then, you want to make sure that this part would be on the top with towards the waist some way because this part's really simple but trying to like say it it can get a little tricky so what we need to do is make sure that we are sewing the right side of the pocket again this is the right side with the pattern this is the wrong side which is the inside of the skirt we're sewing the right side of the pocket to the right side of the skirt. So because we have this inside out, what we'll do is we'll take the pattern piece and have it facing away from the skirt. Okay. If I can capture that on camera. Yeah, okay. So we'll have it like facing away from the skirt when we pin it. And then when we actually go to sew the pocket onto the skirt, then we'll just kind of like place it on top of the skirt so that we can actually sew. So yeah, um, let's see. So I believe it would be this piece because we want, again, 
this part to be facing the waist. So you'll go ahead and separate your seam. You'll separate your seam. Grab your pattern seam. And line it up with the seam. So don't forget that you cut the hole a little smaller than the actual pattern piece and that's because we want a little bit of extra fabric. That's what these tabs are about. We want a little extra fabric. So when you line it up, keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and pin. Just lining it right up with the edge. Okay, so I have that pin. See how it's facing away from the skirt. Now when we actually take it to the sewing machine, you can't sew it like this, you need to sew it you know, flat. So you will take the pattern piece and just kind of like place it into the skirt. And then we'll take this and place this into the sewing machine. Now here's a couple things that I want you to remember. When we go to sew this, we want to be extra super duper careful that we are avoiding getting the other side into the seam. So we want to make sure that that's way far away. Um, don't worry about getting the um, you know, starting right from where the seam finishes. We actually want to start a little bit further down, probably about an inch down. And then another thing is you want to make sure that you are sewing at the, um, like your seam that you're about to make is in line with the seam that's already on the skirt. I'm sorry that it's hard to see, but I mean, yours probably will be anyway because you're gonna, be bound to have a skirt that has thread matching it, right? So this is the original seam for the rest of the skirt. So when we sew the pocket on there, we want that seam to be in line with the main seam. And that is so that um, it's even when you're wearing your skirt. So let's place it on there. Again, we are starting about an inch down. Okay. When we sew all the way down here, we're going to do the same thing as we did when we started as in terms of um, not starting right where the, the original seam ends. We're going to probably sew until it's about about a half inch to an inch away from the original seam. So go ahead and sit, lock it, and go. Okay, so there's one side of your pocket. This is the seam. Let's throw it on there. This is the outside of your skirt. This will be the inside of your pocket. Now what we need to do is add the other pocket. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the skirt around. Now again, make sure that you are applying the pattern piece to where you should be. So right sides of the pocket facing together, um, having the curvy part facing up towards the waist. We will open up the seam and then um, be sure that you are matching up the pocket pieces so that you don't end up with the wonky pocket. If you want, you can actually go ahead and like pin the rest of the pocket together and that will help like guide you and making sure that the pocket pieces are even. I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it. Okay, 
Okay, so the next part, after you've got both uh, pocket pieces sewn onto your seam, is you're going to sew the pocket pieces together around this you know, curvy part. So, this is the, the top and this is the bottom. When you sew the top, what you're going to want to do, after you line up your tabs, and your tabs here, you're going to line this up. Now, you're not going to sew like from the edge of the tab because then you'll have like an open spot in the top. What you will actually do is, once you line them up real nice, you're going to start from the seam. You'll start from the seam and then just sew all along the, the edge. Now, we're not going to like press these seams open. They don't have to be super wide, you know, like a half inch or anything. They could be a lot smaller. I would suggest not making them too small though or else um, your fabric can spray and it will sabotage your pocket and put a hole in it. So when you sew all the way around to the bottom, then you'll meet this tab. So you're not going to like sew to here and then this way. Again, that will form a hole right here. You're actually just going to sew straight to the seam, not sewing this tab at all. This tab is just extra fabric to support the pocket. Um, just be sure that when you sew to the seam, you're not sewing past the seam because then you'll be sewing into your skirt and it'll look funny. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this and then get sewing. Okay, so now you have your pocket sewn here. You have eight two sewn on either side of the skirt and then back the pocket. Now what we want to do is take care of these edges as well as reinforce the seam that you ripped apart to create the hole. So we really want to do this part because we don't want, especially on the bottom, we don't want any holes forming. Otherwise we'd be losing our stuff that we put in our pocket. And we also really, really want to reinforce the seam that we ripped or else it's going to possibly let the rest of the seam unravel. Um, for the rest of the shirt. So, um, what we do then is we will find the, we're going to kind of ignore the pocket fabric. We're going to find the um, fabric from the shirt. So, this is the shirt, this is the other side. We're going to fold those together just as if they were a seam the same way as they were before, if that makes any sense. We're gonna like pretend that the pocket fabric isn't there. And the pocket fabric, it should just fold nicely in half. So once you do that, then we will take it to our sewing machine. And we want to start, um, so this is where we started ripping the thread. We want to start about a half inch past that mark, like starting right here. That reinforces the seam. So we want to sew to the, the opening of the, uh, the pocket. You don't want to sew too far down or else you're going to close your pocket. So there's one side. So this is what I did. Started up. There, and then sew down to where the opening of the pocket is. Now we'll go to the bottom and do the exact same thing. We will find the fabric from the actual skirt and then we'll pinch it together. And then the pocket fabric will just kind of like fold in half. Um, and we want to sew whatever, we want it to fall naturally and then sew whatever like fabric that's part of the pocket in there. That way we close it up 
And that is why in the beginning I was like painting the, or sewing the pocket on there. Um, that's why I said it's okay if you don't sew all the way, like starting from the top. You just start about a, an inch below the seam. That's because we're going to go back and close it anyway. So, now I have it in there, I'm going to go ahead and start. I forgot to mention with the bottom pocket, you do want to sew past the opening, probably like a half inch. And that's, um, that's just to, I don't know, provide kind of like a wall, a barrier from keeping like little things from falling out of your pocket. So, that is all for sewing, but we're not done yet. The, a really crucial part of sewing a pocket is ironing it. So, so once you have that sewn, go ahead and cray block it, you know, any way that you like. You can use cray block, which is basically like a glue, or you can use any other kind of glue, like super glue or fabric glue or whatever, to spray block these edges. You can do a zigzag stitch. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and use my serger, which is what produced this thread here. But I'm not going to do that yet, and I'm not going to show it on the camera either. I'll, just, I'll do that later on. So next we're going to fold our skirt inside right. There we are. And then we're going to find the pocket. So, that's the one I already did. So, if you notice the one that I've already done, it's nice and flat. If you don't iron it, it's going to kind of look um, not flat. And then you might end up seeing the inside of the pocket poking out too. So this part's really easy, just dig out an iron, um, hold your seam in half, and then just kind of like hold your pocket like that, and then iron it flat. So once you iron that flat, then you are done, and you can engage it. Okay! So, this is the finished product. We have my pockets here. <laughs> Let's test. Let's see if it's good enough. Oh yeah, my phone fits right in there. So I hope that was easy and simple enough. Um, keep in mind, you don't have to have a sewing machine to do this. You can do this by hand. Um, might be even easier for your control to do it by hand. It'll just take a lot longer. However, you know, it's just a couple hours. But the sewing machine with instruction, I probably spend about an hour doing this. So if I didn't, you know, stop to explain to you how to do this, I just went ahead and did the pocket. Probably would have taken me like 20 minutes, seriously. It's just really quick, really easy. You can do this to any skirt if you bought it, if you made it, if you inherited it whatever. Um, you can also do it to your dresses. I even thought in my head, like, this is just going to be this. But it's probably not going to happen because the fabric is way too sensitive. But, yes. Thank you so. Enjoy. Um, I hope that was helpful. Or whatever you want it to be. And I will see you on the next one. I got some new flesh. So, stay tuned in the future, there will be more tutorials. <laughs>